Hey everyone, Silver Contrail here. It's been a while, and yeah, my voice sounds weird. That's because I have a cold. Um, <clears throat> that said, I did want to get some kind of a new episode out. Uh, I was going to do it the last two days, and then my throat started to get irritated, and I thought, well, I'll just wait it out. I don't think it's going away anytime soon, but I do need to get an episode out sometime this week because i got a lot of time, and I've got a lot actually done, and I need to have a video uh, before I continue on my way. So, sorry about um, the change in voice. I, get, I can just hear myself through the mic. It's, yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, so, it's turning night, I think. Uh, go find a bed. Here we are. Alright, so, basically, I've been doing quite a bit over the last however long. Um, where we were at last, uh, I had basically completed this building and then built, what, like, one minecart with the cart assembler. And I haven't built a minecart after that. I still got the same cart. Uh, but I have been doing quite a bit. Uh, as you can see from my chest here, I've got a lot of materials, lots of gold, lots of iron. I found diamonds, finally. Uh, which brings me to the first thing I want to do today, which are the, oop, not video settings, um... Oh, here we are. The achievements. I wanted to make sure I'm getting the achievements in time. Um, which I have basically all of this. The stuff that I've kind of skipped over is making a wooden hoe and making a wooden sword. So I'm going to make those. I get the achievements for them. Not that they're that important, but since I'm using the same jar for once. So I get achievement get, time to strike. And then we need a hoe, which is here and here all right time to farm and these I will simply discard down the hole pew um so yeah I got some melons finally I found an abandoned mine shaft and set up a little melon farm and I do love me some melons uh, which is working pretty well I've got a lot of food now and that's always good. Store some extra melons in there. <clears throat> so, uh, I don't believe I did this as of the last episode. I, I think I put it together after that. So what this in, in, is going to be in the end is either... I've been thinking about digging a tunnel straight down to the bedrock, or at least to layer 12 or 13 or so, wherever I'm going to dig my, my diamond shaft set. But I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it yet. Right now it's just a staircase. I think I'm going to put a 4x4 four four column in here. Either out of glass, brick, or something else. I don't know. Because I want it to... I want... I kind of want sunlight to get down there. Which means I had to make it out of glass. Uh, it'd also be kind of cool... If I could do... Like... I don't know. Like, this is a... This is a staircase that I use in other worlds. And I usually... Like, I have brick in the middle, and then... Or no, I have sandstone in the middle, and then brick steps, and, and then there's that. Um, and I get a lot of lag when I stand over there for some reason. Uh, this room is something that I dug out, and I just dug out this section, which we'll use today. Uh, the rest of it, though, is going to be put off for a little bit. Um, what this is going to be is my basic, my like really simple transit system. So this is going to be how I go from my main house here to every other part of my world. Like, this is just going to be lined with minecart tunnels. So these are going to be a minecart that goes here, minecart that goes here, minecart goes there, there, there. Um, I thought about making, like, a centralized station, and then I realized that it would probably be just more efficient to have an individual track go to each area so I can go back and forth between them and whatnot. <clears throat> and I'll probably make uh, some kind of fancy loading station so that I don't get carts bundling up next to each other. Um, that said, I've got this... Uh, area, which, as you m might be able to tell, is ready for a nether portal. So why would we need to go to the nether? Really simply, we need solar engines. So solar engines power minecarts, and they need glowstone to make. Um, so they're basically the cheapest, in terms of cost, or fuel cost, uh, minecart we can make. And it will let me make uh, two new minecarts. Uh, one is a minecart that... Uh, chops down trees basically indefinitely and replants them and the other is a minecart that harvests wheat 
basically forever. I, again, these are really good minecarts, and they'll let me make two farms that I can simply set and forget about and have food that I don't have to worry about anymore and wood that I don't have to worry about anymore. So that is going to be my goal for today. So we're going to need uh, 10 obsidian and our flint and steel. I think. And then store a bunch of stuff we don't need. Um, do, 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 do. Get out of here. Get out of here. Three, four, five. Don't keep very many of those on me. No reason to bring iron pickaxes where I'm going. Uh, ladders. I'll keep some ladders, I guess. Otherwise, I guess that's it. Definitely need a bow and a sword. Probably put those next to each other. And then I've got a pick. Okay. Let's go. And I can already imagine the lag. It was weird. I was getting like 300 frames or something earlier and... And then it just kind of went away. I don't know. And here we are. And this is first time I've gone to the nether. It could be achievement. We need to go deeper. Okay. So when I started this world, I had an issue with it not loading correctly. Oh, okay. I guess it's going to load today. That's nice. Uh, we got some glowstone right there. That's cool. That's cool. Do we have any fortresses? I don't see any off the bat. There's some more glowstone. Kind of in a hard place to get to it. And my computer fan is kicking it into overdrive. Um, oh, that's kind of in a bad spot too, isn't it? Ah, why, why glowstone? Why? Uh, I'm gonna go. Oh, I see some lava falling. Right. Uh, so, <clears throat> silly cast. I'm just gonna wanna explore over here, see if there's a fortress. Maybe I, I don't. I, oh yeah, there is. Okay, sweet. All right, so we have a nearby fortress, which isn't too far away. Um, we can perhaps get some wither skeletons. These things are so hard to kick back to them now that they've changed it. Ah, return to sender. There we go. Oh, you can see some blaze, natural blaze spawns. I definitely do not want to go over there. I mean, I could, but... I'll have to make some kind of bridge. It's kind of out of the way. Maybe if you go up and along this. Be perfect for an ender pro. Oh, there's a magma cube. I'll need to go over there eventually to get blaze rods and wither skeleton heads, but that will come much, much, much later. Yeah, I think I would have to dig through here. That wouldn't be too hard to set up like a minecart tunnel all the way there. Even if I, I could just like make one straight there if I use pistons. It wouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to, the reason I came here, of course, is to get glowstone, so that means coming over here, I think, I think there's some space to get some glowstone, okay, this is a, this is a pretty decent spot, there isn't a whole lot of things beneath me, I want to go down a couple floors, uh, do, 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 alright, I'm gonna collect some glowstone and then head back. Well, guys, we have glowstone. That's pretty good. We need this to make uh, certain things. Um, but I have a problem, which is that some of the stuff we need to make right now is actually pretty diamond intensive. I only have the four diamonds. Unfortunately, to make the farmer unit alone, I'm going to need three diamonds. Like So basically three of these. Now I have one left. <clears throat> three diamonds. <clears throat> Go into a recipe so that um, the farming device can uh, actually operate in the first place. And that's kind of a pain. That's, you know, kind of... It's kind of out, of out of what I'm capable of doing right now. I don't really have the materials to necessarily make that. Um, but I do want a wood cutting unit up and running 
as soon as possible. Uh, but I think it takes about five diamonds to make, and I'll double check. Uh, it takes one diamond for each of the cutting blades, and it needs specifically five blades. So yes, it does take five diamonds. It also takes an advanced PCB itself, uh, which is resource intensive, but it isn't doesn't take diamonds, I guess. I have I have more than enough of the rest of this stuff. Um, but basically, I need a fifth diamond before I can even make it. And of course, one of the bigger issues with Steve's carts is that once you assemble a cart using the minecart assembler, you cannot dismantle it. So uh, when you make it the first time, you want to make sure it's the best it can possibly be. And that means putting in the best possible solar engine so that, uh, you know, it's it's really, really good. Um, in other words, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this uh, to get down to diamond level before... Uh, I just go ahead and, and start doing things. So that'll require a little bit of testing. So we're going to go hop over to the test, some test worlds and experiment with a few things. In my continued experiments with this mod, uh, one thing I've found to be particularly bothersome is that if you come across situations like this where you have a minecart that's just going off and drilling in one direction, it will inevitably come across lava if you're digging low enough. So that's obviously an issue because... Um, yeah, diamonds, redstone, uh, and other ores uh, only appear down below level 16, and the lava level is layer 10. So layer 10 uh, presents a bit of an issue if we're going to come down here and do any sort of digging. And I'm just running around down underneath uh, in here because I'm in creative mode. And I never really noticed how much these uh, areas are like this, uh, the, the lava layers. Hmm, this is really interesting. I've never actually done this before. Um, but anyways, yeah, uh, the lava layer is layer 10, uh, which means that's the highest uh, lava will go. I believe it's layer 10? Yeah, pretty sure it is. Um, so with that in mind, it's really important that if I send minecarts to go off and do some digging, that they don't fall into the lava and become destroyed, because that would be bad. So there's a, a add-on in this game called the liquid, uh, liquid detector, I believe it is. Uh, let me check, just to make sure I'm talking about the right thing. Uh, liquid sensor, liquid... Ah, there it is, liquid sensors. So what this does is when a minecart comes up to a liquid, it knows there's a liquid there, and it doesn't just plop off right into it. It instead turns around, heads back the other direction. So that'd be great and all, but I don't want my minecarts to turn around every single time they run into a lava pool. So instead, I used another add-on, which is called the bridge, uh, bridger. Uh, and then I've got the railer, the drill, and the engine here, which is pretty standard for what I would normally use. Uh, so what we do is we put in some coal here. We see that it's, it's, oh, it's going the wrong direction. Come back here. No. Nope. You know, these things are so unruly. Alright. I gotta reload it. For some reason, the bridge only accepts, like, stone and wood planks. It's really weird. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, go the right direction. There you go. So now it's just gonna build a bridge and a rail across before it reaches the other side. And begins digging yet again. And we can just see that it gets you know, tons and tons of stuff. Good stuff. And of course if it comes across another lava pool it will simply uh, bridge that gap. Which is great. So basically it will go it'll, it'll, just, it'll just go until it runs out of fuel or some other contingency. There's still a lot of situations where these things uh, might necessary might not necessarily uh, make it through a section, uh, and a, a lot of time that's just due to gravel being over the top of them. There are situations where, say, if there's gravel up here, and it falls on the minecart uh, tracks, and it causes an item to be dispensed. Uh, this will actually prevent, like even these items here. If the minecart was coming back, it would run into these items. Um, Another thing that I have noticed is that, and I, I've heard this is the case, where you can use certain minecart tracks to actually cause the 
uh, the drill unit itself to change direction, which I'm going to try here in a second. So I'm going to go check that out and see what happens when I try it. All right. <clears throat> so my previous experiment didn't really work out very well. Um, apparently, the only types of rails you can put in a railer are the standard rails. So that makes doing what I thought I could do impossible, even if it was possible. Uh, on the other hand, I did want to show this off. This is what I'm aiming for. Uh, a solar-powered wood cutting minecart. So it's not going anywhere, which is interesting. It should be. Oh, there it goes. All right. So basically, this is going to go around until it finds a tree. And then it's going to cut down that tree. Pr pretty simple, right? So we get some dirt and some bones for bone meal. Actually, probably quite a few bones. Um, and then we need some saplings. So here's some saplings. So like here's one. Um, yeah, that's what I need. Fortunately, you can't craft in inventory, so I'll make this a tree. Now we watch what happens. All right, now it's found the tree, so it's going to go ahead and mine it. You can see the solar engine says that it is now out of power because it is under the. Oh, that's a problem, isn't it? So it's out of power, and now it's not going to cut down the tree because it actually went underneath. Because it went underneath the tree, it's no longer able to get power, and it's also not moving. Hmm, this is interesting. I don't remember this being a problem when I looked at it before. I did use a solar... Yeah, I thought I used the right kind of... Yeah, as soon as it gets under there, it's it's stopping, retracting, and then choosing not to work anymore. <laughs> I wonder if it's because I'm on fancy graphics, video settings. Let's go to fa or on fast graphics. And I don't know why, but my frame rate decided to d take a dive at about like 5 right now. So I'm going to stop and see if I can get my frame rate back. Alright, I think I figured out my problem. Not with my frame rate, but with my minecart over here. Um, I actually forgot to put the storage things on it, and so it wasn't chopping down wood. And I also f figured out that it's better to simply uh, wait and let the... Sun's going down. Hmm. It's better to let it kind of get up energy before sending it on its way. Like I had it just stored over there and then I give it a push once it had about a thousand energy or so. Um, unfortunately, the way it's set up right now, basically it's going to shut down every time it runs into one of these trees because this, the tree's just too tall for it or just uh you know it's, it strips away all of the all of the energy that it has so when i disable the cutter uh, its power goes up quite a bit and i can just sit here and let this continue to climb and then uh, re-enable it and it will chop down the entire tree and then replant a sapling so yeah, it's got now it's got like 20 wood in there or whatever. Um, the unfortunate thing about it is that it does, even when it's not chopping down trees, it's still losing power. So it's actually still losing more power than it's getting. And I don't know how to change that. If I if I make it a low priority, does it work? No, it's still going down. Yeah, I don't know how this is supposed to continue to go. I'm gonna have to do some more experiments with this and uh, see if I can get it to perpetually move. 
So it's been a few days since I recorded that last segment. I've been really sick lately and just really busy. In fact, I've got two exams tomorrow that I'm studying for, but I really wanted to get this out uh, because I realized that it's been quite some time uh, since I uploaded something. I did some testing while uh, I was away and I got quite a bit figured out for this car. So basically, I can't leave it on all the time uh, with the woodcutter uh, because there just isn't enough energy. I won't gain enough energy fast enough. Um, so that means I've got to have an area where I turn it off. So what I basically do is I come over here and I turn it on when I want wood and then I just flip the switch and it goes and it starts chopping down all the trees. Taking the leaves first, grabbing the saplings, and now it starts to cut down the wood. Move on to the next segment, you can see it picking up wood and apples, and of course it's got the saplings. Which it should... It's supposed to replant, and only replanted one of them. I wonder if there's certain areas where it'll replant. Oh, it replanted there. Yeah, it didn't replant here. <laughs> and then simply when it comes back I'll just flip the switch again or actually I should probably flip it just right away and then uh, turn it off grab the wood the apples and I guess I can manually replant some of the saplings although I probably will figure out where it's replanting saplings at and then just make sure to plant trees there uh, so that's that um, I have been playing Steve's Carts on a co-op world uh, with someone else recently um, and experimenting with some things, but I'm going to jump over to the other world now, so see you there. So in order to make the farming cart, or excuse me, the wood cu cutting, chopping down thing, uh, we're going to need a lot more diamonds and probably a lot more other materials. I've got enough iron probably to make another cart. I want to make a standard hull and a really good digging cart. Um, I think that'll go a long way to actually getting some things done. So I'm going to... Yeah, I, I think that's probably be the best thing to do right now is to get a a better mining cart set up and then go from there. I'm running low on coal again. I keep... I've got... Let's see. I've got two stacks in here. I always run out of coal on my worlds now. I I, I never seem to pick it up enough even now that I'm making a point of getting it I really want to get these wolves too I don't know if I have the bones to do it though I got like five bones and I want to hold on to them for now so yeah I'm gonna work on trying to get this cart set up and look up the recipe and all that nonsense so I'll be back so I came into the nether to get some lava and surprisingly lava is hard to find um, for some reason and, uh, yeah, I just kind of stumbled into the stronghold over here. Uh, it's going to pick up the lava right here. There we go. All right, get some lava. There's some wither skeletons in here, as well as blaze. And I'd like to kill, like, well, first of all, I'd like to see if I can find some nether wart before I leave. Just briefly, see if I can get some... Ah, there we are. Okay, cool. This is what I was looking for. Awesome, awesome. These potions are always nice. Even if they're just regular speed potions, it's nice to have them. They don't really cost anything to make. Picked up some glowstone too while I was over here. Uh, yeah, I just... The reason I came in here to get some lava is to make the liquid sensor for the minecart. Because liquid sensors are cool. This is a really robust fortress. Um, but otherwise, I'm basically almost done with the reinforced cart that I'm making. Which will be my primary digging cart from now on. Alright, are these guys still here? No, they they, they despawned. Okay, so they, they do respawn, despawn, do all that stuff like a normal mob would. And this, wow, this 
This thing seems like it goes on forever. I guess not, but wow, it's a lot to this place. I'm really far away from where I've been. I'm on short render distance too, just just because the nether doesn't seem to work as well as it used to. Alright, so I get some lava, I've got some oh, there's some more soul sand if I need some. It looks like there's a spawner up there. Blaze rods are actually worth a lot for fueling minecarts. So if you've got like a fuel or a coal powered minecart and you put blaze rods in there, it'll power it considerably more than coal would. So that's kinda cool. I don't know if I'll do anything with that. I'm not gonna try to go up there. Alright, I'm gonna head back and make my liquid sensor and then my minecart will be basically done. Well this is really resource intensive. To make the advanced PCB costs quite a bit of iron, redstone, and uh, gold. And then it costs, of course, diamond, water buckets, lava buckets, more redstone, more iron. But, oh, you do get your buckets back. Okay, never mind. I guess it's not that, not, maybe not quite as expensive. So this is an add-on type, so add this into the add-on area. Okay, so what we have here is a standard hull with a standard coal engine. Uh, it's got the iron drill, as well as a bridge builder, a railer, and liquid sensors. The only other thing I can think to add would be um, the light sense, or not the light sense, but the torch placers, uh, which are, I'm not exactly sure how you make those. Let's see, torch placer. Torch placer. Um, you need tri torches, which is just three torches. Oh, this isn't too difficult to make. So we do, except I don't have any coal. Uh, um, we just do this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Place, place. And then we make a U out of iron. And this is the torch placer. This is what what kind of that? This is an attachment. Alright, so liquid sensor, bridge builder, regular coal engine, iron drill, and liquid sensors. I like this setup. I'm going to go ahead and construct this. So we're going to hit assemble. And we can see the progress bar slowly climbing. Um, so that's probably going to be it for this episode. I'm going to let that go ahead and do its thing. And I've got some stuff to study for today. Unfortunately, I'd love to keep playing, but, you know, I've got stuff to do. Uh, so, yeah, next episode, probably start mining more with this. And I should be able to play a lot more post-Wednesday. Wednesday's my busiest day, so doing anything before before then is usually kind of tough for me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to let that do its thing. Uh, some updates, um, Adventure Time pack. I have heard that some other people, some people are interested in, in doing the pack, which sounds really good. And also Feed the Beast is becoming pretty popular, um, which apparently has Steve Scarts in it. I did not know this. Um, so there may be something relating to that coming up. I know my friends actually want to get a server together and then, and then do a, like a server a server let's play uh, so we'll see what happens with that um, but you know I'm gonna be playing this until the Adventure Time pack gets updated so yeah uh, that's it and until next time then